Do you want to pay zero tuition fees? Do you want to get a benefit of more than 100,000 pesos? Do you have the guts to study science-related courses? If your answer for everything is yes, then be a DOST scholar. Hey everyone, it's Emma again, and I'm obviously back with another video. For today's video, we are going to talk of the DOST scholarship, what it is about, and what it has done for me. Last October, the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute have announced the opening of the applications for the undergraduate and junior level science scholarships. So I am just going to give a general overview of those two. First is the undergraduate scholarship. It is for grade 12 students who wish to take up science and technology related courses in college. So kind of check out the link down below na lang to check if your desired course is under the priority courses of DOST. Next is the Junior Level Science Scholarship or for short, the JLSS. So this is for those students in college, third year students to be specific, who are currently taking up science and technology courses. So they are already taking up the SNT course and along their college journey, they somehow realized that, oh, I want to become a DOC scholar. So that is what the JLSS is for. Both undergraduate and JLSS have two types of scholarships. First one is the merit scholarship and the second one is under the RA7687 scholarship. For the JLSS, however, there's an additional type, which is the RA10612 in which we will tackle later on now you might be thinking there is so much to choose from which scholarship should i apply for which type should i go for so don't fret since we are going to talk about all of that in the later part of this video so if you want to hear more of it continue watching this video and by the way don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are enjoying it so far and now let's go through each type one by one. First is the RA7687 scholarship. So this is again available for both undergraduate and JLSS. And this scholarship is for those students out there who are both talented and deserving of the scholarship. So if you have the heart for science and if you need financial assistance, then this scholarship type is for you. DOST will ask you to submit your parents' annual income and income tax returns. And if their assets will uh, exceed a certain cutoff, then it would be best if you apply for the merit scholarship instead. The Merit Scholarship is for students who excels in science and mathematics but can still study even without the scholarship. So this is kind of like a reward for those students who displays exceptional uh, skills in science and math. So it's as if like, imagine, nanalo ka ng MTOP competition and so because of that, you asked your parents to give you an iPhone 13 because you think you deserve it and then your parents give you that iPhone 13 because they also think that you deserve it. So parang ganun lang yung merit na scholarship type. Our 81612 scholarship program is for all college students who are currently in their third year and are taking up SNT courses regardless of their socioeconomic status as long as they have the heart to teach. So its primary goal is to enhance, to strengthen, to empower the science and technology education in the country. So if you want to avail of this scholarship, then you must expect that you will have to render your service in a secondary high school, specifically in a senior high school, teaching science and mathematics. And for everybody's ano, TMI na lang rin. This is the scholarship type that I have applied for. And now, let's head on to the most anticipated part. The benefits. What's in it for you if you apply to any of those three scholarship types? Those three scholarship types basically have the same benefits, except for some subtle differences. 
For the undergraduate scholarships, either RA7687 or Merit, you will receive 1,000 pesos of clothing allowance in your first semester, but only in your first year in college. So you gotta do what you gotta do with that 1,000 pesos. Maybe you can use it to buy some thrifted clothes to really optimize your 1,000 pesos. Because if that would be me, I would definitely go to the thrift stores. Now for merit scholars, either undergraduate or JLSS, you will have a monthly stipend that is prorated that will also base off from your family's socioeconomic status. So that means that there will be scholars who will receive the full 7,000 monthly stipend, while there will be also some who will receive only a portion of it. Once you have decided on what scholarship type is best suited for you, then it is now time for you to prepare the necessary documents. So feel free to check out the links down below so that you will be guided and so that you can see all the details that is necessary for you to complete your application. So there are also some special instructions there, so make sure to follow them. Since I think we don't have or there will be no qualifying exam because of the pandemic so you have to be really careful of the papers of the documents that you have to submit because they're very particular to that so make sure to prepare them properly so you have compiled all documents and scanned all of them then you can now go to their e-application system and so again do follow the links down below to be guided on what the steps are going to be when you go through their e-application portal. The deadline for the DOSD scholarship applications will be on November 30, 2021. So please prepare all your documents now and submit them on time. This is a great opportunity so I hope nobody will let this opportunity pass. See, I actually applied for the DOST undergraduate scholarship under the merit scholarship type when I was in high school. And apparently, I did not get it. Being a DOST scholar, it puts the students on a pedestal. Like, people will be like, this kid is so intelligent, this kid is so amazing, blah, 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 blah. Because she's a DOST scholar, she can achieve so many things, blah, 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 blah. And so not being able to take the scholarship, that is such a huge blow on me. And you know, when we are in high school, we kind of have this ego. We kind of develop this ego that we are so good at everything. So we are going to get that scholarship. We're going to get in the entrance exam because we are so good. We are so amazing. And so not being able to get the scholarship, that is unacceptable. <laughs> so when I heard of the JLSS, I immediately grabbed the opportunity, I took the exam, and thankfully I passed the second time around. And so that is why you should not give up. If you really want to achieve something, then maybe you need to try the second time around to finally get it. The JLSS scholarship is kind of like your second chance, your second and last chance to be a DOST scholar in college. So if you're planning to take up this scholarship in your third year in college, then you must make sure to get good grades in your first two years in college. DOST holds a very special place in my heart. So it's one of the best things that ever happened in my life. That is why I am eternally grateful to become or to be called a DOST scholar. Being a scholar, I've met a lot of acquaintances. And those acquaintances are not only friends, but they're also possible research partners in the future. You see, I know a lot of scholars who excel in their field and if I ever study something in the future that requires their expertise then I'll definitely I'll definitely know who to tap to. As I said earlier, DOC scholars are put in a pedestal. So if ever you want to apply for a job and you put it in your CV that you are a DOSC scholar, then you kind of have an edge versus your competitors. 
as for me as for my case since i applied for the r8 one to scholarship type then i'm lucky enough to have a job immediately after i graduated in college so i immediately rendered my service in my alma mater in our local senior high school and i'm very thankful for the usd for paving that opportunity for me finally being a DOSD scholar gave me a lot of precious memories that i will cherish forever you see i joined a lot of workshops that were facilitated by DOSD and they did not only give me experience knowledge and friends but they also taught me to become more patriotic those workshops taught me to always give back to the country and become one of those people who will revolutionize and help improve the SND sector of our country for its greater good. I know that is still quite a far fetched dream as of the moment because it is quite evident that some of our countrymen still holds little importance to science and research. However, with the help of you, our future DOST scholars, everything is possible and this dream will be attainable. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just comment them down below and I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Also, don't forget to check the description box down below for the links that you will need in your application. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching once again and see you when I see you. Bye!